Hey guys, uh, welcome to my series of lessons on learning to program in PHP, uh, which is a programming language for uh, web information systems. Uh, so, for example, uh, things like uh, Facebook, for example, when there's a huge database on the internet and you need to store a lot of information about people about things and uh, you need some sort of program to interact with that database and uh, PHP is used for that purpose um, obviously we're just gonna introduce you to some very basic concepts and you probably won't um, end up becoming a pro with PHP just from watching these tutorials but it's a starting point for you guys to get a feel of uh, what it is and uh, just introduce you to some basic concepts okay so the first thing we want to do is um, simulate a web server on your computer so right now your PC is probably uh, just a normal computer connected to the internet it's not a, a web server or anything like that so by installing this program called XAMPP uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it but by installing this uh, it's essentially a package that installs all the necessary uh, software that is needed to turn your computer into a web server now I would suggest that after you install it you learn to turn it off when you're not programming uh, otherwise uh, it's a little bit dangerous to turn your computer into a web server uh, without knowing much about um, how to keep it secure so the first thing I want to do is download this program so if you scroll down to uh, so firstly if you go to this website shown here um, I'll also provide you with a link to it in the description um, so go there and download um, where it says download XAMPP now um, the link that you want to click on is the smallest one right? 7-zip and uh, so you don't need these larger files just download 7-zip and make sure you save it uh, in your computer somewhere and uh, so that'll probably take a while but right click on this file um, choose save link as and save it on your computer and come back when you're done hey guys so I said something wrong just before um, you actually had to left click on this file to download it and then after you have downloaded uh, one more thing that you need to download is WinRAR which is a program you're going to use to extract this file so make sure you get that so just go to just go to Google and type WinRAR and that should uh, allow you to download that uh, probably from download.com so get that and then what's going to happen is uh, on the file that you have downloaded if you right click on that and choose extract here and that should extract all the files to your desktop since uh, that's where you save the file so click extract here and then it's when RAR will extract the program XAMPP extract the package so just wait for that and come back when you're done okay guys so after you have extracted the folders into 
extract the files from the xampp.7z file into the xampp folder what I want you to do now is cut and paste this folder into C drive under the root directory so uh, basically you're going to cut this and then you're going to go to my computer C drive and you're going to just paste it in there so basically you're going to click on this control X double click into C drive and press control V and then paste it in there and then what I want you to do now is uh, once once that's done I want you to go into um, the start menu and choose the run uh, function or alternatively you can just press the Windows key and press R that brings up run and I want you to type CMD and press and click on OK and what's going to happen is it's going to bring up the command prompt which is uh, a place where you can type in uh, DOS commands which is how it used to work before Windows was invented everything um, you had to type in uh, commands to create folders or move files or whatever so uh, things never used to be that convenient with uh, uh, similar to how it is now with Windows so what we want to do is press CD which is change directory slash XAMPP and now we're in the XAMPP folder that we just moved into C drive and uh, if you press DIR and press enter it's going to show you all the files in this directory and what we want to type now is XAMPP underscore start dot exe and uh, if you type that um, what happens is uh, and you press enter and uh, what happens is Windows will should come up with some questions um, and ask you whether you want to um, execute this program and uh, obviously you will need to allow this program to run in order for it to work um, however just keep in mind that uh, your computer is not going to be very secure when you are simulating a web server because you could potentially be attacked by hackers okay so now I'm gonna click allow access and allow access and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this window open so make sure you don't close down the cmd.exe and uh, we're gonna go into the XAMPP folder in my computer so this is the XAMPP folder and I'm gonna uh, click on XAMPP control.exe so double click on that and that will hopefully open up a control panel make sure you select the correct language um, and then this control panel comes up where you can uh, decide what you want to activate whether you want in whether you want Apache MySQL or whatever it is and you can see that it's already started by default so unless you click stop it's already started in Apache server as well as MySQL which you're gonna learn what these things are in a second now to test that your uh, web server is now active what I want you to do is in your internet browser type in HTTP slash slash localhost 
local host press enter and if it comes up with this screen that means you have success, successfully installed XAMPP and your computer is now a web server now again I need to stress that you turn off turn off Apache and MySQL as soon as you uh, um, as soon as you stop um, working on PHP so turn these off uh, turn off the shell turn off the command prompts and make sure that actually you need to run XAMPP underscore stop um, to turn everything off and uh, so that way um, people can't get into your computer alright thanks for watching the tutorial see you next time for um, another PHP lesson